Good scene, everyone. Let's have fun one, with this one. Best scene in the movie. Rum, 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 rum. Is it bad if I start the single like this? Rum, rum, rum. We'll get on set, edits, and we will all of a sudden see Paul Rudd do some hilarious improv. Oh, I don't have a watch. <laughs> And instead of the people off camera pulling their hair out, they're pulling their pens out and they're getting excited. I like weird jokes. By the way, as does Marvel, as does Kevin Feige and Stephen Broussard, they're all comedy lovers. All right, here we go, picture. You'd be shocked at how many insane ideas you can go to them with and they're like, oh yeah, okay, that's cool. Three, two, one, because these are not small movies, so to be able to Approach it in that way where you're really trying some way outside of the box things. That's fun. Maybe you just need someone watching your back. <laughs> like a partner. There are a lot of things that excite me about Ant Man and the Wasp, but I think the biggest is to see Wasp herself, to see Hope Van Dyne as a fully formed hero in this movie. The first and foremost primary motivation and reason to play Hope again was to put on that suit. She so desperately wanted to follow in the footsteps of her parents, who had been incredible superheroes in their day and in her formative years. So she's finally doing that. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you, Sonny. You could see in that first film that she was, frankly, more capable than Scott Lang was of being a superhero. And her father, because of the loss of her mother, emotionally didn't want her to do this. And now we get to see her with the gloves off and becoming a superhero. <laughs> The film, not by accident, isn't called Ant-Man 2, it's called Ant-Man and the Wasp. And it's really the story of these characters coming to their own as a team. Follow my lead. <laughs> I loved that she's such a seminal character in the Marvel comic book world, and that she was one of the founding members of the Avengers. I would have lots of conversations with Peyton that Janet was a warrior and she is a very important and brilliant scientist unto herself, which was exciting to me. I told Marvel four years ago, if you ever bring a Janet Van Dyne into one of these films, please make it Michelle Pfeiffer. I really want Michelle Pfeiffer to play my mom. Not only is she the most beautiful woman to have ever walked planet Earth, she was also so cool. And I somehow wound up with Michelle Pfeiffer and Michael Douglas playing my parents and both being equally incredible and talented. Let's go see our daughter. There's just a fun factor to it. I got this whole new generation of people under 15 years old, and they say, hey, Hank Pym. And crash. I loved at this phase, let's say, in my life, that I'm playing a superhero. The message that it sends to women of all ages that we are still kicking ass. Come on! The wasp costume that you saw at the end of the first film was an old prototype from the 1980s. So it looks totally different. Your mother never got to use it. But now I realize that they were working on it for you. Because technology has evolved, I updated the suit with my father. We made a new one based on the prototype that fit Hope's needs for this day and age. It's about damn time. This is one of Evangeline's costumes. I'm trying to find this color took a very, very long time because somebody at Marvel jokingly said, this is a combination of gold and silver, and they decided to say that it was Gilver. So what we've got here is we've got a reflective silver in the background, and then we've got a patent leather gold, which is cut with a honeycomb on two different levels, just to try and get this elusive Gilver color. This piece here, just the stomacher there, there are over 90 pieces just in that. Because it needs to move, it needs to be flexible, we don't want it to restrict Evangeline. There's so much we didn't know about this place, Henry. Worlds upon worlds, entire civilizations, far more than we ever theorized. It's okay. Passing through, we stake no claim. Action. 
From the very beginning, we knew there was going to be a come out moment for Wasp. There was going to be her real kind of, this is my character, this is who I am, and it was going to be the restaurant sequence. The stunt team had four to five weeks of pretty intensive training. So when Evangeline would turn up before filming, we have a really great idea of exactly what we need to do. That's been great in terms of figuring out how she moves, how she fights, how she flies. Seeing these two fight in tandem together, like how do they coordinate their power sets? <laughs> Peyton had mentioned a few things that he really liked. Then Evangeline would come in and then we would kind of tweak it for how she would see her character moving. I was asking to build a lot of these S-curves into her fight style. I think for me, that's just a suggestion of fluidity and grace. And when she fights, I feel like she should look effortless. It's just something she was born to do. She seems more intense. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. We're gonna be out here for three, four hours. Hopefully we're gonna see some homebacks, right? Get some homeback whales. They're thinking, what is this, the latest dance craze? The homeback? I don't know how it would go. What would, what would it even be? I'm personally a whale head. I, I freak for whales. I loved them ever since I was a kid. I'm not trained really in biology or knowing anything about them. I've memorized a couple of facts, but I couldn't go deep. This is not a whale learning cruise, it's a whale watching cruise. Oh wait, well hold on now, looks like Looks like we might have some company here, folks. Yep, that's a breach. Oh, look at that, it could be Moby Mick. That's uh, Moby Dick's Irish cousin. Okay, folks, I can say that. I'm Irish, Dutch Irish, actually. That's, 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 not, that's not a whale. Uh, okay, folks, don't panic, please. Just uh, don't panic. Don't panic, don't panic. Jump, jump, jump overboard! Ah! Daniel Goobler, G-O-O-O-B-L-E-R. G-O-O-O-B-L-E-Y-E-R. G-O-O-O-B-Y-L-E-Y-E-R. Uber. Daniel. But if you want, I could jump in your patrol car. We can go out and hunt this perp down. Well, we gotta close the bridges down at least, don't you think? You know, I, I was thinking about being a cop myself, but the hours don't make sense. This better be good, it was mine. We checked every security camera in the area. They all had ants on them. Ants? No ants in this one, though. Exterminator sprayed the store two days ago. <clears throat> what? What is that? Well, that, my friend, is how I'm staying in the picture. Now, the tech in that lab's got to be worth billions. Find them. And who's mine? I want to know who that is. Right. Talk about compact cars. Damn, should have paid those parking tickets. Oh, I know, my sandwich was in there. Well, at least now I'll be able to park in San Francisco. Oh, man, I just stole this car. Thank God it's a rental. Well, looks like I'm walking. Oh, geez, all my coupons were in there. Talk about diminishing returns, oh man. Everything is shrinking on me. Well, the 60s were fun, but now I'm paying for it. So, how long have you been Ant-Man again? Not long, it just sort of happened. I wish I could fight bad guys like you. And I seem to mess it up almost every time. Maybe you just need someone watching your back. Hi. Like a partner. Dr. Pym, I actually heard what happened to you. You opened up the quantum realm. That's when this crazy could be ghost who like walks through walls and stuff. Stole your tech. And now she wants to take over the world or whatever. Who would have believed that in your hour of need, you would turn to us? Not me. Because we robbed you. Do you remember? That's us. The only chance we got is both of you. Ant Man and the Wasp teaming up. Follow my lead. She seems more intense. Get a new snack. You go low, I'll go high. I have wings. Why would I go low? We're 
we're gonna die. I don't wanna die. We didn't die! Hey, what'd I miss? We were just tiny! I was partners with Hank on a project called Goliath. How big did you get? My record, 21 feet. You? 65 feet. 65. If you two are finished comparing sizes... 65. 